friends, this is Miss Gwen from Shades Out of School Time from Mount Olive, and I want to share with you one of my favorite stories. This story is called The Adventures of Beagle, the Unimaginary Friend. And I like this story because most kids have an imaginary friend, and they go on adventures and they play with them and they may talk to them. But this is the viewpoint of the imaginary friend Beagle and how he finds his person. And I want to share this story with you. The Adventures of Beagle, the Unimaginary Friend. This is written by Dan Santat. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined by a real child. Every night he stood under the stars hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and to be given a special name. He waited for many nights. But his turn never came. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. So rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. He sailed through unknown waters and he faced many scary things. But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on. until he reached the real world. See him right there? The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear the music. And everyone needed nap time. Then finally, he saw something familiar, so he followed. He had a good feeling about this place, but he looked everywhere and he could not find his friend. He climbed to the top of a tree and he looked out wishing and hoping his friend would come. But no one came. He thought about how far he had come and how long he had waited, and he felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello? Her face was friendly and familiar, and there was something about her that felt right. At first, they weren't sure what to do. Neither of them had made a friend before, but after a little while, they realized they were perfect together. Here she says, Alice? And then he points to himself in the picture, wanting to know his name. And so she points to him and she says, Beagle. And he says, I'm Beagle. Beagle and Alice had many new adventures. They told funny jokes. The world began to feel a little less strange. And together they did 
the unimaginable. The end. That's one of my favorite stories because it encourages the use of imagination and it encourages the use to think outside of the box and to do uh, what feels right for you. And so I want to challenge you to think outside the box and draw a picture of if you had an imaginary friend, what your imaginary friend might look like. And be sure to uh, send me those pictures so that we can uh, talk about them, we can share them with each other, and we can uh, stay connected. Be sure to follow Shades of Development on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks for joining us.